Hi, I'm Deanne and this is your Daily Charge. I'm super honored to be able to share with you this morning uh, what's on my heart. Uh, we here in Seattle have been under quarantine um, and I'm here in my house, in, in my quarantined home, um, sharing with you my heart. But I wanted to share with you and encourage you brothers and sisters uh, about uh, what it means and how we can make such a great impact uh, during this time of quarantine. Um, I wanna share with you about Paul. Paul uh, was in uh, chains and in house arrest um, at the end of his life. And I want to share with you Philippians chapter 1, verses 12 through 14. It says, Now I want you to know, brothers and sisters, that what has happened to me has actually served to advance the gospel. As a result, it has become clear throughout the whole palace guard and to everyone else that I am in chains for Christ. And because of my chains, most of the brothers and sisters have become confident in the Lord and dare all the more to proclaim the gospel without fear. That was Paul's attitude. Paul made an incredible impact, even being in chains under house arrest. Now, I'm not in chains, but the chains that I can feel during this quarantine uh, are the, the weaknesses in my character that I allow to come through uh, when I'm tempted to be unloving and I'm tempted to be uh, selfish or I'm tempted to be not kind. Um, it's challenging being uh, not going through your normal routine and be able to go where you want to go and you're in the home uh, every day uh, with the same people, your roommates, uh, whoever it may be, and to just give your hearts away every day. And uh, I'm just grateful that I get to uh, have, repent and change when I'm not being uh, loving, giving, and, and, and being obviously share, being someone that who has, uh, is a follower of Christ. So uh, we see that Paul's attitude was that it was obvious to everyone around him. So that brings me to the other point that I want to make, that I want to encourage you so much, brothers and sisters, is this is the day before Easter. And that is a time when most uh, of uh, America recognizes uh, one of the days that they recognize who Jesus is and want to show their honor towards him and respect. And um, I pray that you would make it obvious today, uh, however you can, through social media, phone calls that you're making, prayers that you're praying, whatever it is today, that you would make it absolutely obvious who you are and why you do it. Just like Paul said that he, it was clear to everyone who he was and why he was in, in, court, or in prison. And we need to make sure that we're making it clear to everyone who we are and why we do what we do. So today, uh, I want you to pray I want you to get on your knees before you reach out to people. I want you to make phone calls. I want you to tell them that you're praying for them. Um, that's something I have uh, done in the last couple of weeks is as I'm calling people, I'm telling them that I am praying for them. And uh, just really uh, just make it obvious to everyone uh, through social media and phone calls and conversations today who you are and why you're doing what you're doing uh, and if you are someone that has seen this video um, uh, because someone shared it I just want to encourage you to uh, come to and, and zoom in to our uh, virtual service tomorrow for uh, Seattle International Christian Church and uh, there, reach out to the person that shared it and get the zoom number and join us tomorrow for Easter. Um, I, it will change your life. Um, you will be able to be a uh, prisoner with passion rather than a, a, just a prisoner in chains. So thank you very much for uh, listening and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye.